everybody, how are you? My name is Sarah and I'm so happy that you're here practicing with me today. This right here is not a real fire. I don't know why I feel like I had to say that, but I there, there's some fake flames that are going because I just wanted to set the mood for our practice. Um, today's practice is all about opening the hips. It's a quickie, so about 15 minutes, and we'll, we'll get into all areas of the hips. So front of the hips, sides of the hips, and back of the hips. So let's get started. We'll, we'll begin in a cross-legged seat just like I am here. So you'll cross one shin in front of the other, and it doesn't matter which shin because we'll switch in a minute. And then take your fingertips out in front of you. Start to walk your hands forward any amount, and start to fold over the shins. And you just want to walk forward until you feel that first threshold. So not pushing or forcing anything. Just feeling that nice, healthy stretch. Breathing into the sensation around the hips, maybe into the lower back. And push down and forward through the fingertips a little bit, like you're pushing the floor away from you so that you can keep your sitting bones rooting toward the floor. And take another breath there, inhale down into the pelvis, expand the belly, the sides of the waist and the lower back. Exhale, empty the lungs. And then start to walk your hands to the right, aiming your chest over your right knee. And see if you can walk the left fingertips even further forward, really stretching the skin along the left side of your body. Keep dropping the outer left hip toward the floor. Breathe into the left side of your body and the left side of your back. Good, and then exhale, start to walk over to the left side, aiming your heart over your left knee. Try to walk those right fingertips a little bit further forward, maybe even past the left fingertips, lengthening the right side of your body. And then breathe there into the right side of your back, into the right side of your ribs. Good, walking back to center, come on up, lean back, switch the crossing of your shins, opposite shin in front, same thing. Once you're settled, walk the fingertips forward and fold over your legs. Some of you might be able to bring the palms to the floor, maybe the forearms to the floor, but whatever is making contact with the floor in front of you, give it a little push forward to root your sitting bones down. Breathe space and length into the back of your body all the way down into the lower back and the hips. And deep breath in. Exhale, empty out. And then, then come on up, walk over to the right, taking that kind of side bend, a little bit of a twist there, aiming your heart over your right knee, take one breath into the left side of your body, and let it go, exhale, walk over to the left, <clears throat> folding a little bit over that left knee, big inhale into the right side of your body, try and fan your right ribs nice and wide, and exhale, heart softens down toward the left knee. All right, come on back through and then rise on up. Roll over the ankles, coming into a tabletop pose or all fours, just to set yourself up there quickly for down dog. Take a moment to spread the fingers nice and wide. Root the inner hands down into the mat. Curl the toes under, push down through the hands and glide the hips up and back into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Feel free to widen your feet there, especially if the hammies are a little tight. Drive energy down into the heels of your hands, lengthening your arms and lengthening your spine. Soften up the knees there so you can tilt your sitting bones toward the sky. And that will actually create more length through the backs of the legs down into the calf muscles. Good, and then bend your right knee deeply while trying to straighten your left leg. If it doesn't go all the way straight, Totally fine, but move it in that direction as you bend the right knee. Imagine like you're trying to drag your left heel toward the back of your mat and keep tilting the sitting bones up toward the sky. Push energy down into the heels of the hands. 
and then switch it out. Bend your left knee deeply, straighten your right leg, drag the right heel energetically toward the back of your mat as you push down and forward through the hands. Try to lift the tailbone toward the sky, lengthening the back of the leg. And come back to downward facing dog. Good, inhale, sweep your right leg up into the air. Roll your right hip open, bend the knee, and hug your heel toward your sitting bone. Inhale there, lengthen the right side. Exhale, step your right foot to your right thumb, coming into high lunge with your fingertips on the mat. You can also slide blocks underneath your hands or some other form of support if you need to lift the floor up to you. Okay, if you can get the fingertips down, go ahead and be there. Squeeze your left leg straight, engaging the quadriceps on the left side. Good, and then slowly lower that left knee down to the mat. Let your heart reach forward and up. Exhale, push down and lift the left knee again. Lift the hips. Two more times, left knee lowers. Inhale, stretch the heart forward. Exhale, push down and lift up. Last time, lower the knee. Inhale, stretch the heart forward. And exhale, lift the knee. Good. Place the hands. Step back to high plank pose. Inhale there, top of a push-up. Exhale, nice and easy. Lower knees, hips, and chest to the floor. Untuck the toes, cobra pose, inhale, lift the chest, roll the outer shoulders back. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Good, inhale, left leg sweeps up, roll the hip open, bend the knee and actively squeeze the left heel toward your left sitting bone. Inhale, stretch the left knee away from the left shoulder. Exhale, step your left foot all the way forward between the hands staying up on the fingertips or hands to support. <clears throat> right knee stays lifted, squeeze the right leg straight so you're engaging the quadriceps. Make sure that left shin is vertical, left knee over left ankle. Push down into the feet, feel the hips become buoyant. Exhale, right knee lowers, chest reaches forward and up. Exhale, push down, lift the hips, high lunge. Exhale, low lunge, let the hips sink forward, let the chest lift. Two more, exhale, push down, lift the hips. Inhale, knee down, heart forward. Last time, exhale, push up. And inhale, knee down, heart forward. Nice work, lift the knee, plant the hands, step back to high plank, inhale there. And really easy, just lower knees, chest, chin, all the way down. Inhale. Curl the chest up, lay your head back. Exhale, push through hands and knees to come to your downward facing dog. Take a breath in there. And exhale, let it go. Good, step your left foot between your hands. This time just hit stopping in warrior two. So push down through the feet and bring the arms up. Bring your hands to your hips. Go ahead and straighten your left leg and pivot your left toes toward the long edge of your mat so your feet are matching. Okay, heels are in line. Let's go ahead and check down at your feet. And then turn your heels in and your toes out a little bit at, a, at about a 45 degree angle. Bend the knees and sit the hips low for your squat. And then if this feels good to keep the hands inside of the thighs, stay there. If you can come a little bit lower, bring the forearms or the elbows inside of your thighs. And start to sway from side to side a little bit. Shifting into the left foot and then the right. And then come back to center. I want you to feel like you are stretching the skin along your inner thighs. So you're gonna kind of press the forearms, hands, or elbows, whatever you have touching the thigh, you're gonna press it out toward the inner knee. Okay, good, nothing too forceful. Just a gentle nudge of encouragement. And then the hips are gonna to sink toward the ground. The chest is gonna reach forward. Take an inhale there, keep pressing the arms out toward the inner knees, stretching inner thighs and inner hips. Good, and then bring the hands to the mat, lift the hips up, turn the toes to face the long edge of the mat again and come into a wide-legged forward fold. The legs are straight now, heels are in line, the toes turn slightly in of the heels to internally rotate the thigh bones. So as you fold over your open legs here, push down and out through the heels. Spin the upper inner thighs back and wide. 
And then let the sides of your body get long as the spine hangs. Let the crown of the head drip toward the mat, releasing the neck, releasing the jaw, releasing the face. Good, and then come to lift up halfway. Bring the hands underneath your shoulders. Lift the chest and start to trace the gaze forward. You're just gonna do a little bend here through the right knee. Try to keep the sole of the left foot rooted on the floor. And you're just bending into the right knee, shifting your weight to the right as you straighten that left leg. And then go the other side, bend the left knee, shift the weight to the left. And just go side to side here. It doesn't have to be a super big movement. We're just getting a little bit more length into the inner thighs and inner hips as we shift weight from side to side. Good, and then once you're over toward uh, the left foot, go ahead and spin everything forward toward the top of your mat. Step back to downward facing dog. Once you're there, look forward between the hands, lift high onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float to the top of your mat. Lift halfway on the inhale. And forward fold, exhale. Good. From here, you're going to cross your left ankle in front of your right. So pick up your left foot and cross it in front of your right leg so that the outer edge of your left foot is touching the outer edge of your right foot. The feet are definitely probably not in line, um, but they're, some part of the outer edges of the feet are touching. Okay. So left ankle in front of right ankle coming into a forward fold there. Okay, as best you can, try to let yourself kind of hang in the upper body. Again, if you need to lift the floor to you, slide support underneath the hands. Bend the right knee a little bit. So press the right knee forward into the left knee and resist that a little bit by pressing the left knee back into the right knee. So the, the knees are squeezing toward each other to protect the back of the legs as you stretch them. Let the breath sweep along the outside of your right leg, opening up the outer right hip, outer right thigh, outside of the right shin. Good, and then on an inhale, lift halfway. And then release that, come back to your forward fold. Bend into your right knee as you straighten your left leg. I'm going to start to sweep that left arm up toward the sky for a twist. So left leg is straight, right knee bends. As you reach the left arm toward the sky, lift your outer left hip up as well. Good, and then release that. Bend into your left knee, straighten your right leg. Left hand is down, right arm sweeps up toward the sky. Lift your outer right hip up, up, up as you turn your ribs and your chest to the right. Good, and then come on back down. We'll do that cross-legged forward fold. This time, cross your right shin in front of your left, bringing the outer edges of the feet to touch, right ankle in front of left ankle, and then fold there over your crossed legs. Bending the left knee a little bit, forward into the right knee, and pressing the right knee back into the left knee. Inhale, halfway lift. Uncross the ankles, and then come on down to a seat. Take your time. You can just flop down. <laughs> Nothing too fancy here. And you're gonna come into your cross-legged uh, seat. Since this is a little bit of a quickie, um, we'll end with some pranayama, some breathing. But after that, after the video ends, if you wanna rest in Shavasana, please do that for yourself. Okay, but if you need to kind of just like get up and go, we'll do about 30 seconds of breathing and then be on our merry way. So bring your hands onto your hips, or excuse me, onto your thighs or your knees. If you need support, slide a blanket under the hips and then close down through the eyes. Press down through the sitting bones and lengthen up through your spine. Let the shoulder blades slide down the back toward the waist letting your skin soften. Take an inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose, nice and slow. Hold the breath out. And then inhale for four, 
three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, feel the heart float up. Exhale for four, feel the navel hug toward the spine. One more, inhale for four, three, two, one. And exhale all the way out, emptying the lungs, bringing the hands to heart if that feels good, or keeping the hands on the legs. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale it all out. I'm just bowing to yourself, chin to chest knowing that any amount of time that you step onto your mat and move with your body and become intimate with your breath, intimate with yourself, any amount of time doing that is so, so valuable. So kudos to you for doing that, for getting on your mat, and uh, thanks for practicing with me. I'll see you soon.